Ladies and gentlemen, Kevin here from Aqua Reefs. First and foremost, probably wondering why I've been MIA for probably a year now. It's probably been a year since I've done the first and only upload to the brand new Aqua Reefs channel. I acknowledge it got some traction. We got, if I'm not mistaken, just over 8,000 views. It was the first video and I mean, everyone's probably like, holy Toledo, why is this guy not uploading? It's very rare that YouTubers can upload a video, especially their first video, precisely, and it turns out to be a banger. You know, I mean, 8,000 views. I mean, I wouldn't really consider the video to be a banger, but based on the amount of views, the video got, I mean, I think I have to acknowledge that it did kind of well. It did kind of well. And I'm very blessed, very honored. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Also got just over 40 subscribers in the first video. I think I have to take that as kind of an accomplishment. Um, at least for me, it feels like a personal accomplishment. But I gotta say, and I gotta agree, um, there was a comment or two on the first video where, you know, a couple of individuals were asking for updates on the 10 gallon nano tank that I've been working on. And I'm gonna get right into that in just a moment here, but I do wanna formally apologize for not providing an update. However, life got a little tough, and here I am. I promise you guys, it's about to get 10 times better and yes just gotta say there are great things ahead guys we got a new setup coming oh yeah new setups here so we're gonna get into that in just a moment You're probably wondering why i'm standing here but before i get into that i want to fill you guys in on the 10 gallon nano cube that i got going on so initially when i set up this 10 gallon nano reef it was supposed to be a reef but i have to be honest Someone who has the reef tank experience, saltwater aquarium experience that I had, I took a bit of a hiatus from the hobby for a little bit, and I figured getting the 10 gallon nano was a good idea to kind of get my feet wet again back into the hobby. Um, when I was researching a lot about the hobby, getting back into it, I gotta say, lots changed. A lot has changed. The technology has changed, it's improved. A lot has been enhanced and it could be a little overwhelming, you know, getting back into the hobby. So I went ahead, got my feet wet and just, you know, wanted to get myself re-familiarized with testing the water and everything. Everything came to me very easily, considering that I'd spent quite a few years into it. Those who have watched my original Opera Reefs TV channel would see kind of where I was at. Uh, I know I was talking a lot about a 60 gallon saltwater aquarium. I was probably even saying a reef aquarium in that video. This this is like 13 years in the past now. So uh, I'm not exactly sure if I said a reef tank or saltwater aquarium, but knowing me 13 years ago, I probably told you guys it was gonna be a reef tank. <laughs> so without further ado, this 10 gallon aquarium ended up not going exactly as planned, and I'm gonna share why. One, yes, the idea of having a saltwater aquarium, a mini saltwater aquarium, especially thinking about making it a reef aquarium. Bedside, I mean, come on, what person in the hobby would not want a bedside aquarium? I fiddled around with this idea for pretty much the duration of me loving the hobby and being in the hobby actively. I did end up getting that 60 gallon uh, aquarium 13 years ago. Did not last long just because of the fact that I ended up moving, you know, growing up, ended up moving, you know, at that time I was still in with my parents, so <laughs> ended up moving and that required me to unfortunately sell this 60 gallon setup. Never got around to getting a video, ultimately due to the fact that I just did not really have any videography equipment at that age, so unfortunately the quality wasn't there growing up, even up until now. Uh, and I am somebody who wants to make sure that I can do things with quality gear. You know, it doesn't have to be top of the line, but it needs to be quality gear because I like to do things right. I don't like 
to be this individual that just kind of goes up there with this 480p, you know, video camcorder and just, you know, wing it. It's not into that, just not into that. But now we are in an age where we have top of the line iPhone cameras, top of the line Samsung, you know, Galaxy cameras, whatever phone camera you guys are into, you know, they're all quality cameras. And just like right now, I am filming this on an iPhone. So I am pleased with the quality and I am happy to take this further with you guys. So yes, that was one, the bedside aquarium idea, loved it. Now let me get into the reasons why things weren't really working out. This wasn't really working out because one, at the end of the day, I'm not really a fan of having tanks on carpeting. Those who are familiar with the hobby and the water changes and tank maintenance, you guys would know that it can get messy. A few drops of water <laughs> on the you know carpet, it can get messy real quick. You know, you don't want to ruin the carpet. So that was one. And then two, I gotta say, I really didn't have the space in the area of my bedroom that I had this tank to do maintenance and be able to move around freely and easily. So doing maintenance actually started to feel more like a chore. Now, where we are right now, we're in my living room here, and this, this beautiful space right here, guys, is where the new setup is gonna go. It is a bigger setup, and it is an official setup. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to the setup. It is currently still boxed up. I took delivery of this tank a little while ago, but we got, and I repeat, we got the new second generation Waterbox Marine X60.2, which is 35 gallons in the display, and then I believe it's about another 11 or 12 gallons in the sump, making it out to be 50, 55 gallons system volume tank. So yeah, guys, we are going to do an unboxing here. This is gonna be a part one. Uh, unboxing. So what we're going to do here is we are going to open up the cabinet box. I'm going to do a time lapse of me assembling it. I will let you guys know how much it took me to assemble it. I'm not the most handyman person <laughs> out there, so this might take me a little bit more than average, but slow and easy was the race for me. So yes, without further ado, we are going to go ahead. I'm going to bring this box out here. We're going to open it and I'm going to walk you guys through a little bit of a time lapse here of me assembling this cabinet. Now you're probably wondering, hey, you got the second generation uh, Waterbox Marine X60.2. What color is your cabinet? Guys, I went ahead and went with the most newest selection that Waterbox had to offer, and that was the Aspen color. I just loved the gray, the grayish Aspen color uh, that Waterbox had went with cabinet. I'm really excited to open this up. I've had the box sitting around my house here for weeks now and every time I look at it I'm just like man I can't wait to open this and just dive into setting it up. Currently have the cabinet sitting right here. It's on an angle obviously that you guys can't see right now but it's just staring at me. It's just staring at me so I'm very tempted to just dive right in and, and rip it open and get to assembling it which we are going to do. Uh, and then I have the sump box, and I have the actual display tank box in my laundry room over there, just tucked away so that we, we weren't tripping over it over here at all. So without further ado, guys, let's not waste any more time. We're going to go right into it. <laughs> 